I had Dean's dreamy eyes, you know. If I had him up at my ticket counter, I probably would remember him anyway. But I'm telling you, our, our passengers know our employees. And they may not know us all by name, but they know who we are and we have relationships. And, and back in Texas with all the good old boy stuff and the, you know, the camaraderie, I am telling you, we, we got letters from our customers that would say, God, Herb, I got so drunk going to New Orleans. I missed my meeting because you were two hours late, but I didn't care. I had the best time. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it just, it, it took on kind of a life of its own. And I, I'm making it sound, I'm just trying to, um, I, I really don't want to downgrade what we did. We, we accomplished a lot, but we did it um, with pride and we encouraged our passengers and our employees to actually enjoy each other. Um, we have an expression today um, that we talk about a lot, and we call it living the Southwest way. And um, to us, what that means is that every employee, regardless of job and uh, regardless of position or department, um, must display on a daily basis three um, attributes. One, a warrior spirit. Now, some people, when we first brought that up, especially in our HR department, said, ooh, that just sounds too warlike. Well, that's baloney. We have fought for everything all our lives from the day that we went into existence. We had to fight for three and a half years in order to put our first airplane in the air after we got our certificate of operating uh, public convenience and necessity. Because those big bad guys out there just were so arrogant, they thought they could keep us out of the air. This is one of my favorite stories. I don't know if you know this, but we are called, uh, our symbol on the New York Stock Exchange is L-U-V, love. Because we've served Love Field, you know, we, we, we really use the word love a lot too, just like the word fun. Well, two of those three carriers from Texas were indicted for their antitrust activities against Southwest Airlines, and the indictment came down on Valentine's Day, which I thought was perfect, <laughs> just perfect for us. Um, but, but my point is, when you own the low fare, you own the best customer service, and you own the high frequency market, and you take care of your people, think about what happens. We have over 36 years now, we have people that open branch offices based upon where we serve. We have, I don't know how many of you have flown on us, but one of the loudest complaints I've had for 36 years is our open seating. We don't have assigned seating. Saves us a ton of money and you tons of money, but still some people don't like it. And um, we have people that for, they form business partnerships because of who they happen to end up sitting next to. We have business deals conducted constantly. We have people fall in love on our airplane. We have people, literally, we get, I bet, 500 letters a year from people because they have lived on us courting or they've met and they live in different cities or they go to different colleges in different states, whatever, and they just feel that we are so much a part of them being able to see each other on a regular basis, they invite us to their weddings. <laughs> Well, I, I have pen pals all over the United States. Uh, I call them pen pals because most of my relationships with our customers are on paper. Um, and, and Herb does too. Everybody does. All of our employees do. I mean, I, I, again, I bet I'm the only president you know of a Fortune 500 company that I get calls quite frequently from passengers that will say, I didn't see Carol Herzog at gate three at Houston Hobby Airport for a couple of weeks. Is something wrong? Now, that's a pretty neat thing. Uh, or I'll get a call from a ticket agent or a flight attendant or whatever, and they'll say, you know, Colleen, one of our best customers um, took his last flight this week, or he retired, or he, I read in the paper that he was in the hospital. Could we send flowers? You know, it just goes on and on. And on the wedding things for years, Kelleher, Irishman that he is, he would go to the wedding receptions. <laughs> he thought that was a neat way to spend a Saturday night. Now, I, would, I on the other hand, as being a sentimental slob, I would send wedding gifts, you know. But 
We have grandmothers that write and say, before Southwest came into our city, I couldn't afford to go see my grandkids, but maybe once a year, once or twice. And now, thanks to you, I go see my grandkids once a quarter or even once a month. Sometimes the son-in-laws didn't like that a lot, but you know, <laughs> it all kind of works out. Um, it's, it's just amazing. I get letters constantly, particularly from mo mothers, who will say, you know, my, my child is about to go off to college, and I really want to know if there's any possibility that you might be serving this, you know, part of the country, because I can't have him or her go somewhere that you don't serve, because I know I'll never see him again. And, I mean, it's just all those things. Um, I could talk forever, by the way, as I guess you can tell. I don't like to give speeches. I like to talk interactively. And um, I have promised that you're going to see the first inning of the game. So you may interrupt me at any time. And somebody just needs to tell me when 15 minutes is up and we'll go to Q&A because I'll just rattle. You know, as long as somebody nods their head every now and then, I just could talk to a stump. So <laughs> I I'm, I'm tend to do that. So, um, But my whole point is that we have prided ourselves in letting our people have fun. And, and we are pretty proud about... Um, the big points of difference that we do, that we know we have, that we consciously have. For example, we've kind of built our pyramid quite a bit different than most uh, of corporate America. Um, and we are proud to say um, that in our minds, our um, most important customer, the senior leaders at Southwest Airlines, and every uh, employee knows this, the most important customer in terms of priority is the employee. I probably spend 80% of my time trying to assure that I am delivering excellent proactive customer service delivery to my employees. And if I and my peers do that well and try to assure that they are happy, they have a good work environment, they have the tools to do their job, they have good strong leaders who listen and who respond and who care about them. You know, it's really not rocket science. They feel good about what they're doing. And if they feel good about what they're doing, they in turn are going to deliver excellent, proactive customer service to our passengers, who are the second most important to us in terms of priority. And because it's so different and so unique, and has such incredible talk value, and because we do such a good job, again, not perfect, but such a good job of hiring, we hire good people. We hire people who instinctively and intuitively want to follow the golden rule. Um, and, and we encourage that, and we empower them, and we, we don't have a ton of rules. I mean, you know, we have, um, we, we have an expression at Southwest that we hire for attitude and we train for skills. Now, I don't want anyone to get nervous. We don't put a pilot in the cockpit that can't fly the plane, <laughs> and we don't put a mechanic out there to fix it that doesn't know what he's doing or she's doing. But I do sincerely tell you that we turn down pilot and mechanic and ticket agent and flight attendant applicants constantly no matter how many letters of recommendation they have, no matter how many medals they have for their past performance at, at whatever it was that they did before they joined us, if something about their attitude, their demeanor, or their behavior tells us that they would not fit within, be a good fit within our culture and within our Southwest family, um, you know, I do ramble because I started to tell you what our three attributes were and I think I only got to number one. But number one was warrior spirit. Number two is uh, to make decisions based from a servant's heart. 